Today, I'm going to be showing you how to replace an old outlet. This one right here, as you can see, it's cracked, has paint all over. It's also that ugly old uh, tan color with a nice brand new white one. One of the great features about this outlet is a temper resistant outlet. I have little kids in my house, so I have to put these in all my outlets. But the problem I've always had is you take one out to plug something in, and then you can't find it anymore. With these temper resistant outlets, they have these little coverings that cover up the outlets while just sitting there, and it's really difficult for a child to put anything inside. So it's a great safety feature. So let's go ahead and show you how it's installed. So before we do anything at all with this, we need to go outside, find the circuit breaker, and turn off the correct line so there's no power to it. If you fail to do so, you're going to have a really shocking surprise. Now that we've turned off the power, let's plug something in just to double check. Good, no indicator light, so we have no electricity flowing. Now that we know it's safe, we can go ahead and take off this plate. So we're going to take a screwdriver and unscrew it. Now that the panel is removed, we can take off the two other screws holding this piece in. Alright, now the screws are out, we can go ahead and pull this forward. It's going to be a little tight back here, because the wires are stiff, but you'll be able to get it exposed. So let's go ahead and start looking at the wires and explain what each one is for. The black one right here represents the hot. The white one over here is the neutral. And then the bare wire right here is your ground. Alright, so with the way that this outlet works, we're going to have to use the wire cutters and cut it off. However, right here, you can see we can just unscrew this part right here. Alright, so now that we have the wires exposed, we need to go ahead and use our wire cutters and then trim them off so we can have some exposed wire to use on our next outlet. So with this new outlet, we're going to have to make loops just like you see here on the ground wire on these other two right here so we can attach it to it. The nice thing about it back here is it indicates which goes to which. This shows that this is the hot, this is the neutral, and the green is your ground. So let's go ahead and use our pliers and make the loop right into the wire. Perfect. So now that we have the loops on the wires, we're going to start attaching the different parts. So we're going to take the hot and attach it to the hot side. Okay, so now we got the wire in there. Now we're going to go ahead and start tightening it up. Nice and tight. All right, so now that we have the hot wire attached, we're going to go to the other side and get our neutral wire and attach it to the neutral side. Now that we have that there, we got to tighten it up. So now that we have both wires attached, the final thing we need to do is add onto the ground. So we're going to take the wire and attach it to the green screw. and then we tighten it up. Perfect. So now we just gotta go ahead and push it all back into place. And we will go ahead and screw it back in. So now that we have the new outlet in place, we can go ahead and line this up and attach the new plate on top. 
With the new plate attached, we can go back outside and turn the power back on. So now that the circuit breaker is on, let's go ahead and plug something in to see that it's working. Good, we have an indicator light on here, so it shows that we have electricity. Perfect. So now we have the new outlet in place. Just as a reminder, this is a great outlet for having little kids because kids cannot stick objects inside here and get electrocuted without needing these. So if you found this video to be useful, please give us a good thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much.